comes Bill Curtis again. Now you remember what I said. Mrs. Gray? Mr. Gray? Evening, Mr. Curtis. Well, uh, supplies are getting kind of short out the farm. No more credit, Bill. You owe us $8.30 already. It's got to be cash money from now on. Well, you know, I won't have any money till the crops come in next month. Try Tom Greeley over in Bolton. He might still give credit. Bolton? If you leave now, you'll get there by morning. Lawson. Yes, sir. The other one's dead inside, along with the clerk. How much you make off with? Neighborhood of 6,000. County payroll just got delivered. It's supposed to be a secret. I think one of our boys might have been in on the secret. Could be. Curtis is a farmer, a solitary man living a peaceful life, shaped by the changing seasons. But Mr. Curtis is about to reap an unexpectedly bitter harvest, courtesy of the dead man's gun. In the American West, a gun touched by evil passed from hand to hand, changing the lives of all who possessed it. Its origin unknown, its dark legend grew, till it came to be known as the Dead Man's Gun. General Storm and Ramsey said you could help me out. Ain't no credit here, mister, so don't even think... Better get yourself a pencil and paper and make a list. I got a lot of things to stock up on. <clears throat> well, 
I'll take your time and uh, have a look around, mister. Uh, I'll be back in a minute. Take that weapon out, mister, and put it on the table. Do it. What? Slow. What is it? Do it! What's this about? This the gun you saw at the bank? <laughs> Sheriff, I... Fi you and your dead friend made a mess out of my whole day. I'll just take a little something from my trouble. You don't mind, do you? Sheriff, I found you. <laughs> Judge put him away for good. Show you some. All I done was try to get something to eat. What's the crime in feeding an empty stomach? Then folks I stole from was rich. They had a hundred chickens, so who's to miss one more? And I offered to work it off. I'm an honest man. I, I can't work pounding rocks all day. It's gonna kill me. I've been sickly all my life. Here it is, like I promised. Ain't seen nothing like it. Let's have the money. Toolbox! Move! Come on! Two gonna be working rocks! Dirt to me? Oh. 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 Are you full yet? Oh, you need some more. Some more, huh? Oh. You need some more in that dirty mouth of yours, huh? Oh, he can't breathe. You better shut your mouth, stick man. Or you're gonna get it worse than him. No food for this son of a bitch for two days. Governor. They say you're in for killing a man. I never killed nobody. That's how come I'm writing this letter. How'd you get the pencil? Well, I just got it, that's all. I was the men in here. They all done something bad, like kill a man or rob a bank. Me, I took one little scrawny old chicken from a farm and ate it. Two years, they get me. Two years. <coughs> You hear that cough? Mm -hmm. Ain't no way in hell I can do this. 
I'm gonna die before my two years is up. <coughs> Wesley, here. Just rest a spell, huh? Governor ever write you back, Bill? You, you! You and you! Clear out the brush from them rocks over there. There's snakes in there, boss. I don't care what's in there. Go do it. Swing by, have a look. Well, that's the one that scares me, boy. My share of pain. Something I want to show you. Huh. I know about Sheriff Haynes. And I know plenty. All right, I'm going. I'm going. What's this? Bank robber, Curtis. He's been writing letters to the governor and the judge and I don't know who all else, telling how innocent he is. Caught these before he snuck them out. Problem with a troublemaker like this, he's liable to get some do-gooder on his side and give us all a real headache. Maybe something ought to happen to Curtis to put a halt to this letter writing. He ain't hardly fed him in six months, sir. He must be eating air. Not much air to eat at the bottom of a river. New prisoners? Yep. Just come in from Ashford County. Right. Uh, maybe... Sit down! Uh -oh. Welcome to your new home. Conditions are pretty bad here, Sheriff. This ain't a hotel. I bet the food stinks, too. You got a hell of a mouth on you, prisoner. Yeah. He's brave, talking back to Haynes. There's brave, and then there's crazy brave. I've seen that look in the sheriff's eyes before. that damn thing away from me. What's the matter with him? Snake's dead. He's afraid of snakes, dead or alive. I heard he got bit once. Stick man now. He's got blood coming out of his mouth. 
Back to work! Get up here. I said get back to work! I'm dying, Violina. No. No, no, I, I'm dying. I need a priest. I need my last rites. No priest here. Well, then you gotta do it, Bill. I need a proper burial. You, you gotta bless me and, and hear my confessions and, 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 and make the sign of the cross and all that other stuff. Otherwise, my soul ain't got nowhere to go. Looks like Stickman's about to check out. Take him off to the side there and bury him quick. I don't want Stickman stinking up the quarry. Day's done, let's go. Gotta mark the grave. There, it's marked. You need a new workmate, Curtis. Bring over Matson. Go, Bruiser. At least this one won't die on you. Sit down. What do you say, Matson? You like new partner here? Didn't hear you. Don't like to talk much. Hear that, Curtis? Your new partner's healthy and quiet. Uh, move! Compared to Stickman, you got yourself a winner. <coughs> what are you in here for, anyway? Crime I didn't commit. No kidding. I ain't heard that one before. It's a miracle how many innocent men are all chained together under one roof, ain't it? Your other partner, the one that died, what'd he do? Chicken thief. Chicken thief. Me, I'm in for cattle rustling. You coming up in the world. I thought you didn't talk much. If I was you, I'd get a better attitude, Billy boy. We're gonna be together a while. You two, go fetch some water. Strange. What? Well, no guard come down here to keep an eye on us. Well, maybe this is just our lucky day, Billy yeah. Boy. That crime you didn't commit. What was it? Bank robbery. Oh, yeah? Where? Bolton, bank clerk, got killed. Bolton? 
Six months ago? Yeah. Who arrested you? Sheriff Haynes. What? You got trouble here, Billy boy? Yeah, well, thanks for the little I mean it. You know what we're doing right now? We're fetching some no. water. We're in the middle of a desperate escape attempt. An escape attempt that's supposed to fail. What the hell Shh. are you talking about? Maxon, shoot to kill. I want their dead bodies hauled back here so as I could. Got your water, boss. down by the river today. He was gonna kill us, that's what. He was gonna gun us down like we was escaping, and no one there to say any different. Keep it down. You and me, we're living on borrowed time, Billy boy. What the hell's the matter with you? It's my ankle, boss. Walk it off! I can't! You go ahead. I'll bring these two along. Let's go, move them out! Pick up the pace! Why don't you tell Daddy where it hurts? I'll tell you, boss. It hurts, right? What are you doing? for now. Tomorrow we'll get up early. Get the chains off us. Katie and is about 12 miles that way. Yeah, well, they'll catch us before that. No. Them guards, <coughs> they're only brave when they got the guns and everybody else is in chains. Right, so Besides, they know we're armed. Well, so now what? 
Now we rest. <laughs> Sheriff! Sheriff! You better have a damn good reason for disturbing me, Kenny. There's been an escape on the chain gang. Curtis and the cattle rustler, right? How'd you know that? Because I'm not wearing this badge for nothing. Tell the boss just to make it simple and bury them together. Bury who? Curtis and the cattle rustler. Who else? Hell, they ain't dead. What do you mean? Well, they ain't even been found yet. Only dead one's the boss. Seems he got his neck broke. Get a search party together, Kenny. If you find them, shoot them. Shoot them both. Come on. This gun is gonna stay with me. What do you think of that? I can't be too comfortable. I'll be sleeping so soundly I won't know the difference. I feel any tug on my hand in the night. And I'm liable to be the one dragging your carcass to Canada. You understand? Yeah. Sleep well. For me, you're a sound sleeper. I'm going to untie this gun real slow. Any move, this thing's liable to go off, all right? All right. Don't move too quick. This probably has a hair trigger. There's something about that gun you ought to know, Billy Boy. Yeah, what's that? It's cursed. Oh, when did it get cursed all of a sudden? Right about the time I took it off of you. It's the truth. I had a partner. He's the one who found that gun. Took it off a man he killed in Bitter Springs. Well, your partner had this gun? Yeah. A few days later, he was robbing a bank. He got blown to kingdom come by a bank clerk that never fired a weapon in his life. You robbed that bank in Bolton? Yeah. You robbed that bank in Bolton? Me and my partner. Son of a bitch! Jesus, Jesus. I slaved over that rock pile for something you did! <sighs> steady. Steady, uh, steady, uh, Billy uh, Boy, steady. Uh, uh, That's important you're forgetting. Oh, what's, what's that? What's that? <sighs> On Earth, the contestant fight of your innocence. Now you better think about that before you go pulling that trigger. Yeah, well, somehow I don't see you waltzing into town and give yourself up. I don't gotta waltz nowhere. I can write a confession. A confession? Yeah. I know things about that heist nobody does. I'll write it all down. I'll take off to Canada, you go back to town, and you clear your good name. Who the hell's gonna believe that? Huh? Yes, you come, Billy boy. So, try not to shoot me. Understand? Or you'll never be free. Get up. Get up! Let's go.
What are you worried about? Now, anything funny in your dad. I might have a limp, but you'll be in the ground. I'll take this as a keep tip of our time together. Mm -hmm. No offense, Billy boy. Well, I hope I never see your damn face again. Wait a minute, wait a minute, where are you? You forgetting something? That confession of yours. Scary man, we just uh, need the loan of a pen and paper, and we'll be leaving. Ah, uh, what's your hurry, Billy boy? We just met the pretty lady. Let's just finish our business and go. Help me! Oh, you be still, Billy boy. You've been on that rock bar so long, you don't even know what's important anymore. Now, you going outside. This won't take but a couple of minutes. Leave it be! Help me! What are you going to do, shoot me? I don't have to. No, you ain't. Not until you get from me what you want. For the last time, I said, leave her be! You ain't got no sense of fun, Billy boy. You should have done what I said. You think you're home free, don't you? But I got a surprise for you. Guess who was behind that bank robbery from the start? That lawman, Haynes. He told us when that bank roll was due. He's got the money right now. Hit out in that jailhouse right there. Why should I believe anything you say? You think we got chained together by coincidence? You got a hell of a mouth on you, Peter. Well, it's liable to say all kinds of things. Like how a certain sheriff told me about the payroll in Bolton. And how he kept all the money when everything went wrong. I didn't land you here. You done that your own self. Well, you better get me out of here. Unless you want to end up here, too. Haynes had us chained together on purpose. You've been saying you were innocent too long, too loud, too often. He'd kill us both and tie up all his loose ends at once. That lawman, he's gonna hunt you down. He's gonna kill you like a dog. You can run and buy yourself some time or you can turn and face him. Either way, you're as dead as I am. Won't be long now, Billy boy. I'll see you in hell. Uh. That's it, then. I want to thank you for helping me. Well, if you don't mind my asking, uh, what are you doing way out here all on your own? My husband left me. I was, I was fixing to go when you showed up. Oh, listen, about... It doesn't matter to me what you're running from. I won't say anything about you being here. I really 
appreciate that, man. Mister. Take the bay. He ain't much, but he ought to get you where you're going. You sure? I'm sure. Take him and welcome. Much obliged, ma'am. Little enough, and thanks. Wish I could do more for you. Well, there's not much you or anyone else can do. It's all up to me now. Curtis, you're the gutsiest guy I ever killed in the line of duty. No, I ain't killed yet. Brought you something. What is it? There's money. You said there was money in there. Well, that's sort of the truth. Uh, what I meant to say is there's gonna be money in there. What are you trying to pull, Curtis? What's in the bag? Something you might find interesting. How about you hand over the money you took from the Bolton bank robbery? I think you must have got too much sun out there in the chain gang. Tell you what, Sheriff. I'm gonna take this bag of rattlers. I'm gonna put your head in it and I'm gonna tie it shut again and then I'm gonna sit down and enjoy the moment. You're bluffing. I know you. You're a farmer, a Christian, a civilized man. You wouldn't do any such thing. Well, that might have been true once, but smashing rocks on that stinking chain gang of yours and eating snakes just to stay alive sort of takes the civilization out of a man. Don't! way to die. Wait, hold it. Keep it closed. I'll give you the money from the bank job. You take the sack and leave, right? That's how it works. Okay, you just keep that damn thing tied up. Where's the money? I got it hid right here. Take it. Take it all. It's yours. Show me. My goodness. Never seen that much money before, have you? <laughs> Never in my life. <clears throat> Be a cold day in hell before some farmer gets the best of me. Works better if it's loaded. Shoot him, Kenny! He's an escaped convict! Do you hear enough, Deputy? I heard everything, Sheriff. Since when you get the right to point a gun at me? Since I saw the money poking out of the floorboards. I'll take that.
I don't wear this badge for nothing. I brought him my cassette. Did I do good, mister? Yeah, I did good, kid. Yeah. You want this? Don't open that. The snakes! I heard them! No. <laughs> it's just these. You did the rest. How'd you know about me and snakes? Chicken thief told me. How could you be sure I wasn't in it with him? Well, uh, I wasn't sure. I just had to take a chance. I must be getting home. Bill, you forgot your gun. Bill Curtis, a free man, where others were not so lucky. Sometimes the only mark of the man's passing is the dead man's gun. <laughs> 